and in this video I'll show you how I make my parsnip wine. So I start with two kilos of parsnips. They have been washed but not peeled. And here I just top and tail them and then roughly chop them up. I then add three litres of water to the pot and put it onto the heat. In the meantime, in a separate pan, I'll warm up one litre of water. Then I weigh out the sugar and you can use anywhere between a kilo to 1.3 kilos. But for this example, I'm going to use 900 grams of granulated white sugar with 200 grams of a soft brown sugar. I then add this to the small pan of boiling water. And once this has been brought back to a boil, I add in one teaspoon of the citric acid. I then turn the heat down slightly and cover it over and leave this to simmer for around 10 minutes. In the meantime, I take around 350 to 450 grams of raisins and give them a very coarse chopping up. So now that's done, I'll carefully add the syrup into the fermenting bucket and leave this to steep while the parsnips are cooking. And the parsnips are now tender but not overcooked, so it's time to strain them off. And don't throw these out just yet because we don't want to waste them and they can be used in many other things. You can add them to mashed potato, you can roast them. What I tend to do is even make a soup out of them and I'll leave a very simple recipe in the description below for that. Now I add the parsnip water into the fermenting bucket as well. I then loosely cover this and leave it to cool down until it's at room temperature. And now it's time to add in half a teaspoon of tannin. But if you don't have any, don't worry, because you can use some of this instead. Which is actually just 500 millilitres of boiling water with two tea bags in it. And this does need to be steeped for quite a while to make it really strong. So I'll leave this for around 10 minutes and then remove the tea bags and then add it to the wine. So this now takes the total to four and a half litres or the equivalent of one gallon. And then at this point I normally take a gravity reading which shows me I've got a 1.110. Now I add in one teaspoon of a peptin enzyme, one teaspoon of a yeast nutrient and finally one teaspoon of the wine yeast. And now I just loosely cover this and leave it in a warm place for around five days, just making sure I stir it at least once a day. So now that time's passed. I just need to strain the raisins off through a sieve and fill a clean demijohn up with the wine. I'll then add an airlock to the top of the demijohn and then leave this to finish its fermentation. So after almost two weeks later, the wine is ready to be wrapped off into another demijohn. Now it's time to degas the wine and I like to use these little stoppers with the simple pump. Then I add in one Camden tablet that's been crushed between a couple of spoons and then give this a gentle stirring in. To clear the wine I like to use a finings like this which is a two pack liquid solution. Once I've followed the instructions, I can now leave this to clear and then bottle it up. Gah. And there it is. A very sweet, earthy country wine. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Now in the fermenting bucket at the beginning, I mean, you could chuck in the zest of a lemon or two 
or um, the zest of an orange maybe, or even two. It's up to you. You could add some honey in. You could back sweeten this with honey. I mean, the options are down to you. For me, I quite like it as is, nice and plain. So, there we have it. The parsnip wine. Thanks for watching, and until next time, make sure you keep on shining. Cheers.